Okay, so today we are at Pinchy because of the Lantern Festival and we're taking this opportunity to make a bunch of videos and one of those being my experience teaching English in Taiwan. So if you haven't heard Jesse's experience, go ahead and check that video out. It came out on Tuesday, but today it's all about me. So I thought I wanted to teach adults because I have previous experience teaching. Uh, when I went to university, I wasn't very sure whether my English was going to be good enough to like succeed in classes or whatnot. So I decided to join with the English department in this course is called Communication Cafes, which help ESL students improve their English. I became involved with them and I eventually became a facilitator. So I was in class helping students and help with the professor give the lesson. So I did that for about two to three years. So applying to be a teacher abroad, I thought, hey, might as well play Strength. to my strengths Strength. and my experience and then let's go try to teach adults. But I like pretty soon find out that most of the opportunities are to teach children. So I was like, at this point, I just want a job so I can go travel abroad. So I'll take anything. Like, I can do it. It's going to be okay. And pretty soon I found out that I actually love teaching children. The fact that I'm a little bit insecure about my English, even though everyone tells me not to be, but that's how I feel, uh, means that teaching kids it's easier for me overall because I don't have to worry about like the technical stuff of like the grammar or advanced English. I can just teach words like cat and dog and not have to worry about that, but rather use my mental energy to make the classes fun and to have the kids laugh. Because that's one of the things that I really like about my classroom is that I allow for a little bit of chaos. I like kids actually jumping up and down because they're really excited and like talking. As long as it's English, I'm okay with that. And as long as it's not disruptive in the class, it's okay. So I had been teaching kids from the age of around 8 all the way up to 16. But the main, like the majority of the kids are on the younger side, so like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Recently, actually like this week on Monday, I uh, started a new class. It's called an M1 class and it's a beginner class. They have sometimes no English whatsoever and sometimes if you're lucky they know a little bit so you have something to work with. Starting with kids that are around five to six year old or first graders, it's, I find it really cute because they're adorable and you're like literally teaching them how to speak how to write, like they have to point with their fingers, like the strokes of the letters. I just, for some reason, love that and I'm happy with the job. But that meant that because I started a new class, I'm getting more hours. And starting this week, I'm actually getting another class added onto my schedule. So right now it's about 25 hours. And starting next week, I'm getting another class so that's going to be an M2. So they're about the same age or six, maybe seven. Um, but I feel like they're dumping all these young kids classes onto me just because of how much I verbally express that I love them. But right now, Mondays, I teach five to nine, two classes. So that's four hours. Tuesdays, five to seven, one class. Wednesday, that's a long day. So I teach from 1.40 to 9.00 three classes and that's going to be the same schedule for Thursday Saturday, starting next week and then on Fridays I teach from that's a new class so it's starting 3 30 all the way up to 9 but I do have a break in between and then Saturdays I teach from 9 30 to 12 30. So those are my classes overall right now and I will give you an update uh, once I have a little bit more experience with these new classes and maybe getting settled into this new schedule with a lot of hours. It's going to be a lot of work plus the editing of all these videos. So I'll survive. So if you liked our video, make sure to subscribe and comment down below any questions you may have. Maybe you're a teacher or maybe you're a person that wants to come in and want to work with kids or don't know if you want to work with kids. So talk to me about it. I didn't have an idea of what it would be teaching kids. I thought it would be like singing songs and playing games and just making a fool of yourself, which I wasn't comfortable with the idea of it, but you know, it's pretty fun. So make sure to comment on the video and to like. See you next time.